So I'm going to show you how to repair the uh, threaded end, the quarter 20 threaded end on your camera tripod socket uh, if it gets damaged. In this particular case for this camera, um, it was basically my fault. <clears throat> it was not the fault of the camera. And I had put something on uh, an attached ARCA plate on it and and put it in a small tight case that normally just fits the camera and over time it kind of damaged the threads. Other than that, the Cool Picks is an excellent camera but uh, and it's waterproof and that's what I like about it. You can carry it anywhere and but uh, so I'm going to show you what I did to uh, repair that. So here you see the damaged um, quarter 20 threaded uh, for your tripod socket on the bottom of the camera. And you can see where it's been pulled apart. It's just plastic, but it's a durable plastic. But again, it was my uh, fault. I've had the camera for years and never had a problem. So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, make this uh, repair so that it's now usable. A couple of things you're going to need is on the left side a piece of sandpaper. Now I'm using a sanding block and uh, 80 grit sandpaper. Uh, a pick of some sort so that you can uh, take any loose plastic out of the hole and um, I've already done that in this picture. The uh, sanding block was to sand the bottom of the camera base. You want to get that all kind of roughed up because we're going to epoxy an aluminum plate on there. Here you see the uh, where I scuffed up the bottom with the sand, sanding block and you see that I took out any other loose plastic that was raised up. So next we're going to cut the stock out of this uh, aluminum that I have and I'm going to go old school here. This is a little miter box back in the day when I was a carpenter that you could buy. I don't even know if you can buy these anymore. These were real nice. They were made for bowl cutting aluminum and plastic trim back when they used paneling and, and different stuff uh, in bathrooms and I, I, I like it for cutting small pieces of steel only thing I did to modify it was put a piece of oak on the bottom so that way you could clamp it to a uh, sawhorse and then I put a wear piece in here that top thickness that's just a wear piece because most of the stuff was thin anyway so I put that in there so piece of oak that way as it wears out when you're cutting just replace that and not the bottom piece okay for my particular purpose I cut this piece of aluminum three and a quarter inches long. Now I'm going to go ahead and deburr it and locate a quarter twenty tapped hole for the for the new tripod socket. So the next thing you'd want to do then is also locate where your quarter twenty hole is going to be. So in my particular case, from the left side, I wanted to come in one and three eighths of an inch and center it on the stock. Now this stock is quarter inch thick by seven eighths of an inch wide so seven sixteenths would be the center of that so I've located and I'm gonna go ahead and drill that and tap it and then again round the corners so before I round the corners I went ahead and drilled and tapped the hole for quarter twenty using a quarter twenty tap now the proper size hole that you need to drill is a number seven now most people may not have number drills, so you can get by with using a 1360 force. You'll be perfectly fine. Drill the hole once located, 1360 force, you'll be fine. If you've got a number 7, that's all the better, but it's not really required. I used the number 7 because I had it. And then I tried it on this small plate for my uh, point and shoot camera here that I'm using, the one that I'm going to be repairing. Uh, I just used this standard uh, little Arca plate. Uh, and I've got the bigger ones that I use, you know, for bigger cameras, but it still used the, it uses the same uh, dovetail. So the plates uh, had the corners rounded. I used the sanding block to sand it up, get it kind of rough. The surface here that we're going to glue to the camera, I'm going to use a little rougher sandpaper, get it a little bit rougher. What I'm going to do though is when I, I'm going to use an epoxy mix, two part epoxy, and I want that uh, bolt head sticking out a little bit like that so that when I put this underneath the camera into the quarter 20 hole that's been damaged, that's going to locate it 
so that when it dries, this will be in the center of the camera and, uh, and it'll be able to locate it. And I did a dry fit here and it uh, works perfect. So once you mix the epoxy, now I'm using a DEFCON 5 minute epoxy and when it says 5 minutes there's a reason for that. It sets up pretty quick. I've used the stuff a lot so and it's in two bottles. You can buy stuff that's in one tube and as you uh, push on a plunger it, it, it brings out the proper hardener uh, at the same time. But I just choose to use the DEFCON product which is two separate tubes. You mix it up I use a toothpick on like wax paper. But uh, <clears throat> so what I did is once I put the glue on both sides, you want to kind of leave this point open here where the, where the um, uh, quarter 20 bolt is. And then uh, use it a little bit sparingly. You don't need a lot so it doesn't ooze out a lot. Then I use these uh, clamps, these bar clamps with rubber ends just to put a little slight pressure on it while it dries. And the uh, quarter 20 here is very important because that located where the uh, original hole was in the camera. And the beauty of that is it acts as a locating pin. So when you do put it on the camera, you're not, it's not sliding around. And then you put the clamps on and it, it allows for the aluminum plate to stay put. And all you got to do is rotate it to get it in line with the camera base. So it's very, very important to do that. Uh, if you want the quarter 20 hole to be in the same alignment as the original, uh, which I did, and also again it, it helps in the uh, placement and keeping the plate stationary when you clamp it down, otherwise it will tend to slide on you. And here it is completed. Once you allow it to dry, and it's now usable on a tripod. So this repair makes an excellent alternative to not being, not being able to use your tripod socket. This, this worked out perfect.